Now let's take a look at the claim that we made earlier uh, about expectation of squared error to decompose into bias and variance in a constant. So before we do that, uh, let's take a look at what we are working with here. We are assuming that f is the true function, the true function we are trying to find right. and f cap is the function that my model is predicting and they are both a uh, function of x which is uh, uh, the variable that we are working with here and this is a, a relationship uh, between variance and expectation that is pretty common, we are not going to look at the proof of that, it's not very difficult to come up with. This f is deterministic. Uh, we already know f, I mean we are assuming that this is a fixed uh, function. The expectation of f is going to be f because the expectation of a constant is a constant. Right? We are going to assume that uh, y, the actual output, is going to be whatever f was predicting plus some error. We, we are going to make the assumption that the expectation of this error is zero, which is not a bad assumption to make. And we are going to uh, variance of this error to be sigma square. We are going to call it sigma square. Now let's first have a smaller result which you're going to use in the bigger result. Uh, the expectation of uh, y which is f plus e is going to be the expectation of f because the expectation of e is 0 and we know that the expectation of f is f. The variance of the error is uh, we're, going to, we're calling it sigma square and uh, thus the variance of y now we are just uh, going to the uh, the definition of va variance, which is the expectation of uh, this minus the expectation the square, right? The whole square, and uh, that is we all we already said that the expectation of y uh, is equals to f. f, right? So this is y minus f the whole square, right? And um, we know that y is nothing but we are assuming it to be f plus uh, some error. Uh, so the f's cancel out, so this is the, just the expectation of uh, error ka whole square. I have somewhere used e, somewhere used epsilon, so please pardon that. Let me just uh, constantly use e. That is going to be equal to, uh, by, by just looking at the definition of the result that we proved here, right? We're just going to use this result and say that uh, rearrange this and say that expectation of e square is equals to the variance plus expectation ka whole square, right? But we know that the expectation of e is zero. Uh, we are assuming the error, the expectation of error to be zero. So this just boils down to uh, the variance of e, which we are calling as sigma square, right? Right. So we now know that the variance of y is nothing but sigma square. And we'll use this result to find out what we are actually trying to find out which is uh, the, the mean squared error, right? Uh, so the expectation of uh, the mean squared error which is y minus what we are predicting. Uh, we are just opening up the square and then uh, we are saying we are using the, the the expectation rule which is the expectation of a plus b is equal to expectation of a plus uh, expectation of b using that here and uh, we are uh, using the relationship that uh, we have from here uh, to open this up uh, expectation of y square uh, is being written as uh, variance of y plus expectation of y ka whole square yeah. uh, and then uh, we are opening this guy up uh, taking uh, two out we know that the uh, expectation of y is just f right uh, and so it basically leaves out uh, e of f. This term remains as is, right? Uh, now, uh, what we are saying is uh, the the variance of y still remains the same. The variance of f still remains the same. But I'm combining these terms to make a square, okay? Yep. And uh, these terms still remain the same. And uh, this I'm writing as uh, f minus e of f ka, ex ka whole square uh, is nothing but uh, expectation of e f minus f cap ka square, right? And uh, I initially began by saying that in uh, bias variance decomposition, variance is nothing but how much is the function that I'm predicting varying right which is nothing but the variance of f cap because f cap is what my the predictor is generating 
वेरियंस ऑफ आई एव ऑलरेडी प्रूव इक्वल टू सिग्मा स्क्वायर विच इज नथिंग बट दियंस ऑफ माई एरर विच इज सम कॉन्सेंट राइट वॉट एवर माई एरर बी दिस इज सम कॉन्सेंट सिग्मा स्क्वायर सो असेंशियली माई एरर बॉइल्स डाउन टू सम कॉन्सेंट प्लस द वेरियंस ऑफ माई प्रिडिक्टर एंड वॉट आई कॉल एज the bias of my predictor ka square right so if uh, when i started the discussion i said uh, i'm defining bias to be nothing but how far on an average how far away am i from the target right so this encapsulates nothing but that right this is a target and this is what i'm predicting and on an average uh, expectation uh, is nothing but the average on an average how far away am i from the target right so What I've done is I've essentially rewritten uh, the square. the expectation of the square error uh, in terms of the variance of my predictor and uh, the bias square. 